Hello everyone, welcome to this life glider video discussion. Now, I just want to talk about what are my thoughts from going to the walking frame to the life glider. And it's been a long time since I um, received my um, official personal unit for my own life lighter and I just want to talk about what it is like going from a walking frame to the life lighter as I feel a lot of stuff has happened evolved and um, personally improved regarding my independence now, I just want to start by saying about the stuff that is the same that can be transferred over from the walking frame to a life glider uh, unit. And that is, um, you can walk unbelted, similar to, similar to how you could walk within a walking frame, even though the handlebars are slightly shorter and smaller. Now, throughout my milestones I have achieved, only a small handful could could have been achieved within a walking frame without um, without having a life glider. For example, playing football. Now the reason why, or soccer, sorry, football, soccer. Now the reason why I say that is because you're primarily using your feet and you'll be kicking and also passing the ball to the other person. And it doesn't um, require a lot of um, upright mobility when it comes to the kicking aspect of soccer or football. Or even if you were going to do a headshot. Or, or, as, or as they call it in soccer football. I'm a header. It's only if you were required to have... Um, have your hands to catch, throw, or perform different types of um, throwable techniques, or if you want to show off and perform tricks, that's when the life glider belt needs to be applied. But other than that, um, you can basically just play it either belted or unbelted with no issues because it's pretty much the same. Um, by playing it belted you are preserving more stamina um, which could then be uh, later incorporated into a milestone or another daily activity. Another thing that, that transfers perfectly um, from a walking frame to a life glider is walking indoors. Now, walking indoors is somewhat straightforward as if you're, if you're walking in a walking frame. So the same rules apply. Nothing really changes. Just keep, um, just keep in mind um, the surroundings, the slopes, the inclines. But if you know what it is like inside of a building or a certain environment and you were comfortable within your walking frame, you should be all right uh, utilizing um, the life glider unbelted. And you can also um, 
be belted as well if uh, if you prefer um now that primarily focuses on the two major um major big things i've realized that could be transferred back and forth but only small things now so uh, picking up items uh, carrying cups and carrying little pieces of uh, objects and equipment can be successfully um, um, achieved within the life glider unbelted like like it would be in a walking frame but but it all comes down to personal confidence and personal resilience and personal perspective so if you are ready to to um to experiment within your walking frame and then uh, I'm, I'm, it all comes down to you really now i want to primarily now talk about what it is what is the best thing about the life glider going from a walking frame now what i will say is um preserving stamina upright posture and having a bit more flexibility when going about um trying out different activities and basically i'm just going through day-to-day -day life the best example i can give you is um when i when i was um playing with the car circuit and playing with the controller i i, I might was belted now have i tried doing that in my walking frame or i'm belted within the life glider i would fall down on the floor because having the belt on helps to secure and also takes my weight if i lean forward but it depends on the tightness level um, that has been set to the life glider belt but that can be manually uh, changed or altered um, by yourself or by a parent legal guardian or support worker um, another thing that I have realized going from the going from a walking frame to the life glider is you have a lot more doors open for you so um, what I mean by that is a lot more opportunities to improve your independence to enhance your resilience and to think outside the box um and also as well it helps to give that sense of personal discovery as well being in the life glider and and belted up because it is that that middle ground of safety but also um but also personal perseverance trying all these fantastic things um I've tried a lot of different things within the life glider, putting on my glasses, putting on headphones, trying aftershave, cologne, um, just a lot of different things really that wouldn't be feasible within the feasible and possible from a safety perspective within a walking frame. Um, there's a lot of other things I can say about the life glider going from the walking frame. Um, and that is, I like the fact that, it, I like the fact that if you think about it, it's like a natural evolution of a standard walking frame um, build quality um, with some um, adjustment, uh, um, adjustments some um some little but life-changing enhancements and yeah but that's basically it really but it all comes down to personal preference having the knowledge from the frame does help 
within the glider, but the glider helps to inspire to make the individual want to try these fantastic, amazing things. Um, it doesn't have any impact on the stamina. It doesn't have any impact on the confidence or resilience. It builds on it. And, I, and I'm a better person for it. But um, I will be doing a follow-up to this, which is Wheelchair to Life Glider. But before I continue on to that video, I just want to continue on with this one. And that is that because of the Life Glider, I was able to dance with my wife, uh, do some cooking, um, go to the shops and push a trolley, carry a basket, uh, pick up items, uh, basically carry a lot of different objects and actually hold a proper uh, conversation uh, with people because of me not having to prioritize my stamina um, over over the communication aspect of daily life because if I'm in the walking frame I have to keep uh, I have to keep tabs on my stamina levels which means if I was talking to someone I, I, I would have to prioritize my stamina which would then make the conversation uh, seem a bit um, seem a bit like not going anywhere and seem a bit negative because I'm not paying attention to what they're saying but because I'm belted in the life glider my life uh, my stamina is already being um, being by default and um, preserved by the life glider so I'm able to hold a long a longer conversation and talk to multiple people um this concludes this video and thank you for listening and watching and please stay tuned for future life glider videos thank you